Hello and welcome to Ali Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how I crochet this watermelon earrings. So the materials that we're going to use is this cotton yarn, three colored combination, green, pink, and red. You can also replace this with white or cream it's up to you well, and you might need a dark green and you need a pliers an earring loop a fish hook earring some kind of a earring something like this I don't know what's that called a bead your needle and this one I don't know what it's called to but it helps a lot okay a pair of scissors and 1.3 millimeter crochet hook so it's to start with our red yarn make a magic ring okay there you go and then chain three two and three and make 12 double crochet inside the ring including your chain 3 in the beginning and I'll meet you in the end here 11 and 12 tighten up the tail of the magic ring as much as you can and then slip stitch into the third chain from the very beginning chain one and single crochet into that same stitch and another single crochet on the same stitch Two single crochet into the next stitch and in every stitches that you have you need to make a two single crochet for a total of 20 single crochet and I'll meet you here oh I'm sorry it is supposed to be 24 single crochet in total since our double crochet that we made in our previous row is 12 so times 2 with that is 24 am i right i guess so and then after you do that slip stitch into the first stitch yarn over and single crochet on that same stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch and this will be our pattern all the way across single crochet and two single crochet into the next stitch single crochet and two single crochet into the next stitch in the same stitch continue doing this up to the end over here and I'll meet you there and this is the last part two single crochet and slip stitch into the first single crochet but Okay, I'm not done yet. 
Yes, we're done. Okay. But the way I change color is before I slip stitch into the first stitch, I just insert the crochet hook and grab the yarn. And grab it and slip stitch over and that's how you change the yarn color tighten up your previous yarn color and that's it so now you're going to do a two single crochet in each of the following two stitches and in the third stitch make two single crochet just like what I'm doing one and two in the same stitch again single crochet and another single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch one and two continue doing this up to the end of the circle and I'll meet you there this is the last stitches one two and one and two into the same stitch and then insert your hook into the very first single crochet and change into green yarn Slip stitch, tighten up your pink yarn, and that's it. So now we are going to attach our product in the ring loop. So this is what I do. I insert the loop under the crochet hook just like that and yarn over and then single crochet in that same stitch but make sure to grab the yarn or the tail of your work in the purpose of this is you don't need to sew it later if you can tuck it in into your yarn or work so like I said single crochet but make sure to put the crochet hook under the yarn and the ring loop and do a single crochet as normal and you do this all around And I'll meet you there. And cut your yarn. Lose a yarn needle.
so this end also over there and I'll meet you so now using this wire just got the end here and then make a loop using this nose pliers And then you have to bend it to and attach your earring. Put in your bids, cut the excess, just make sure you have enough. is really tricky there you go and there you have it put in your fish hook earring and that's it guys here is your watermelon earring thank you for watching I hope you've learned from my tutorial again and see you in my next tutorial bye bye